Hello and welcome to another niche TCG unboxing today with uh, this Caster Chronicles TCG box from Japan. And yeah, this is a, a TCG that I actually like, yeah, don't know anything really about. I, I found like some even English cards from some sets and it's a, uh, it's made by Force of Will. And there's also like a, I think they used some of the same artwork. So yeah, I'm I'm super confused. So <laughs> man, maybe if someone knows more about this TCG, please let me know in the comments. I would highly appreciate it. But yeah, I, I found these boxes together with the DMM game boxes on Amazon Japan. And yeah, decided to to give it a try to see how, how the cards are made, how the foiling looks. And I guess, I guess there was like some artworks that I need for my Egyptian collection, but I'm not sure if it's from, from this release. Like I found some card lists. Okay, what's that? This looks really spooky. Okay. <laughs> I don't know from the from the center drawing. It looks a little bit like it could be from Mirazu, which is yeah, and, yeah, and and is sold. I know in sold, but yeah, not a fan of the the back design. Very weird, but yeah, let's see how the the cards are made. I think this looks like this icon and the circle looks too big. On the card design, and we have like the ATK and defense points there. Okay, cute. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure I saw this in a in a Force of Will, and and actually has to be. I opened so many from these packs since I'm looking for a secret rare of Anubis. I think there was even like the the artwork in this release. And I already didn't like it in Force of Will. But yeah, we get a foil card, a rare card, and a second foil rare card. No texture on these. Uh, the foiling is only, only in the background. There's no spot foiling. Like sometimes the eyes are pretty shiny, but they aren't really. Like when I tilt the card, it's not like the, the eyes get highlighted. So it's more of a, a cheap foiling. And they are a little bit curved, but not, not that bad. But yeah, no texture. And maybe there are like higher hits which are textured. They are like, where's the, the Rarity HR, secret rare, super rare, rare. Maybe they do have like serialized cards like DMM games. Maybe this is what HR rarity means. Or what's that? Goblin. The frame is pretty dominant and this one, okay, this, this is a little bit more open, open designed. But I'm out of focus and it's pretty bright. Then we got another rare. Uh, oh, what? It's already a dupe? Or am I stupid? Two packs and one dupe. Oh, this is not starting nice. But yeah, so far I'm not not really impressed by the artwork. It's not as bad as in the in the Nova TCG. Oh, is she about to sneeze? Looks a little bit like it. Some of the artworks looks nice, similar to yeah, Force of Will. And then we get a back to back the same foil card, and you can barely see it, but both of them are foil. You can see the reflection a little bit like there.
We are not good for a good start. There was a second box of Castle Chronicles I got, which was still available. There, I actually don't know how many sets in total have been released. I was just looking for the ones that are still available. Okay, this is a super rare, but I cannot tell why, since there isn't anything super about it. No stamping, no gold, no raised lettering or anything. And this gives me like some Nova TCG vibes. And maybe you have seen my Nova unboxings. I I didn't like the direction they are going for. Don't know if, if anyone likes it, but it's not for me. Yeah, this this art style, I don't know. I don't like it. Another rare. Yeah. How many of these will they, they give us in the end? I I'm scared they will give us a ton. Maybe she's now in every every second pack. But she looks cute. Yeah. Okay, now this one again. Another super rare. This time the super rare is in the beginning. Okay, not that bad. Not that bad. Another Valkyrie looking character, more duplicates. Okay, she looks cute. Oh, I like her. I think she's my favorite so far. Very nice. Oh, we got the PR. Okay. I was thinking for something really, really cool and special, but uh, again, not textured. Super subtle hollow foiling on this one. Barely noticeable. A little bit in the in the name there. Not a fan of the art. And the rare. But yeah, I I don't know if they are still like releasing new sets, I guess not. At least I couldn't find them. Another rare. <laughs> this looks interesting. A little bit like emo gothic vibey vibes. Another dupe. Her again. Another PR. And a super okay, I did. Uh, I did got this uh, this card artwork already in Force of Will. She's Isis, the the sister of Osiris, and wife, sister and wife. Hello. Uh, is she Isis here too? Yeah, I think this is also Ishisu Isis. Yeah. But I do like the, the full art. I still think like this, these icons are too big and very ugly. Why are they there? Very nice. This is a great card for my Egypt collection. Ooh, I'm happy. So maybe I have to, to find like a card list or card gallery after, after this unboxing to see if there are more. More cards I need for my Egypt collection. Oh, she's. Oh, this one is pretty. Oh, I like this. I also like the the framing of the flowers. And this one. Okay. Is she a super rare? She is a super rare. The Isis card. But yeah, one hundred percent. This is the the same image. Uh, as I found it in, in Force of Will. Okay. HR? 
Oh. Oh, but this looks cool. I like this one. Super rare. So there are definitely like some some artwork gems in this one. It's not all bad. And of course some of these are like personal preference, like someone else might look at this artwork or the art style and say, oh this is amazing looking. Uh and I say not for me. But this is an HR. Uh, it has no texture and there's like nothing really special about this besides like the general card design and she looks pretty but yeah in the as i said uh, in the rarity distribution it's on the top it's even above the secret so yeah not not sure if this is like a crazy big hit or maybe maybe there is like a HR guaranteed per box. I I do have a second box. Interesting artwork. Uh, a second box here, so maybe we will find out and trick or treat, okay. English wording on this one. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, another cool artwork. Like a witchy, witchy character, like from what was the Soul Soul Eater? What was the anime? More duplicates. Another super rare. And a duplicate set. So yeah, getting a lot of duplicates is sad. Looking at the Okay, there are only 15 different super rares and rares, so I guess chances to, to pull duplicates is high. As you can see, both duplicates. But yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think about the card design or what's your Ah, what's your favorite artwork? I think there are like some some nice ones. This is a like cute moth. <laughs> yeah, and the the green hair and also like the leaves on her dress. This looks cool. I like this one. And we get another PR. And a super rare. Oh, who is she? Izanami. Iza Izanami. Oh, she. I think she is like a, uh, like a goddess in ancient Japan. Izanami. I think this. The name rings some some bells. I guess. And it's a, a cute artwork, definitely. Oh, another one like a Halloween themed looking. Cool. Okay, I'm happy. Uh, this is another Ishisu, so another Isis. Uh, she she was also printed in, in Force of Will. But not in this like full art pretty version. That's great. That's really really cool. Oh, really nice to pull these. I hope this is like all, all Egyptian cards you can get from this set. Really nice. Another super rare. And another rare. Have we pulled her before? She looks a little bit like these, with these cards like Alice in Wonderland themed, inspired. That's cute. Two more packs. A 
Another rare Gothic Lolita Spooky Ghost. Oh, a secret. So we got a an HR and a secret. It's a bummer that the the secrets and the HR isn't isn't textured. Let me find like can I find the the regular version of her that we pulled? Just for for comparing these two designs. The way this takes, okay. Yeah. At least they they made it smaller, these ugly, ugly icon designs for the levels. It is smaller in the secret one, so at least they did this. I like the color theme of the, the gold in the background. And it's like a little bit zoomed out. And yeah, I don't know, man, this is like... This is like not really like a secret rare feeling to me. Where's the texture? Where's the gold stamping? Where? <laughs> There's nothing. I don't know, it feels low effort to me. Compared to a lot of the other TCGs and the high hits in the market. But yeah, two, two high hits. Nice. And another rare. And another rare. So let's end up with the uh, for the will pack as always. It would be funny if we could pull the Anubis card now. Or maybe the the artwork I was talking about with the angels. Oh no, it's Sandora. So yeah, let me know please in the comments what the, do you think about Caster Chronicles or yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.